Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the complete equivalent circuit. In that, we modified that the rotor resistance will be divided into two terms that is R2 plus R2 1 by S minus 1. So by using this concept, we will modify the equivalent circuit. That is, here the R2 will be simply R2 will be again I will write R2 will be R2 plus R2 into 1 by S minus 1. So this modification will be done in the rotor side. Done in the rotor side. So this will be modified like this. So already you know that the V1 is the supply voltage. This V1 is the supply voltage that will be given. Then it will take the current I1. The state are consisting of the resistance R1. Reactance X1 and it have state R core loss component you can take ICR IL no problem this is the magnetizing current I mu it is consisting of the R naught and consisting of the X naught so this is combination of I naught and this is the I2 dash current and it has X naught or XM anything no problem at all and it has the induced EMF of E1 and next here the induced EMF of E2 it consisting of the rotor resistance R2 and this is the X2 naught the load will be varied that load value equal to R2 into 1 by S minus 1 simply just we modified R2 with the two resistance that is R2 and R2 plus 1 by S minus 1 so we can give the each and every we can divide this ro this rotor circuit no, not rotor circuit this equivalent circuit how the power will be divided we will be understand here here we can take just what is the input here first so this is the input input will be applied so we can write what is the input power so what is the input power so input power equal simply voltage current into power factor so can i write the input power equal to root 3 times of we have the line voltage and line current and the power factor and this r1 directly gives the combination of loss so what is the current current flowing is r1 so we can write the state r copper loss is state r copper loss will be like this that is i1 square into r1 simply and this is the we have a core loss and x1 have the voltage drop but there is no loss but we have the resistance r0 with some current is here we have some current this loss will be represented core loss so next is the state r core loss so state r core loss is the current flowing is ic square with has the resistance is r naught and next just write here better to write here to understand clearly next and next is state R output state R output so he, this area will be having the state R output so he, from this point state R output will be generated and this this the power generated from this winding is state R output and say, so from the air gap it is entering into the rotor and this is the current flowing in the rotor I2 what is this this is the rotor it gives rotor copper loss so we will write the rotor copper loss is like this rotor copper loss equal I2 square R2 I2 square R2 that will give rotor copper loss and what is this resistance? The rotor mechanical power developer. 
This is root R mechanical power developed. Okay, this complete area represents this complete area represents is simply this this area graph mechanical power developed. This area will be gross mechanical power developed. This complete area. And particularly this area, particularly this area is gives the net power. It gives the net power. So we can write, we can write this complete area. Net power will gives. Generally, what is the net power? Net power means from the grass mechanical power developed, we will remove all the losses, frictional and windage losses. So we will de develop for the net power from the grass mechanical power developed from this, we will remove the frictional and windage losses. Frictional plus windage losses. Then we will get this value. We will get this value. So this is the complete equivalent circuit. This is the complete equivalent circuit okay so by using this complete equivalent circuit we will draw the phasor diagram so draw the phasor diagram so simply we modified resistance with resist rotor resistance with the two combination with the two combination next we will move on to the complete phasor diagram so we will use this equivalent circuit we will draw the complete phasor diagram. So, before this, just we will draw. So, what are the conditions again? We will recollect what are the things available. The things are I1 current equal to the no load current plus I2 dash. Just write it. So, the I1 current, state R current is nothing but they simply it is I2 dash plus as well as no load current and what about what about the supply voltage supply voltage is nothing but the drop across this and generated emf so can i write like this can i write like this so that is v1 equal the supply voltage equal induced emf but it has some negative sign with the drop i1 z1 this is about the v1 what about z1 here z1 is nothing but the simply the state r resistance plus state r reactance jx1 and the what about i0 so simply I naught is combination of IC plus I mu. So I naught the no load component equal core loss component plus magnetizing component. And so what about E2? E2 is nothing but we will directly write I2 into J2. E2 is directly we will write I2 into J2. I2 vector and J2 vector. What is J2 there? So J2 is nothing but the rotor impedance that is rotor reactance plus rotor resistance plus rotor reactance. Okay. So we will draw the phasor diagram for this. So for the phasor diagram first you need to draw state R. First you need to draw the state R that is state r generated some emf we generated some emf minus e1 minus e1 same emf will be better to write this side this is take it as the plus e1 so exactly we will not get e1 e2 not will be some generated so before that just think we are drawing the phasor diagram at no load at standstill condition we are no load condition and standstill condition. Standstill condition means the speed is zero. Then E2 is become E2 naught. Here slip is become one. Same X2 is become X2 naught. Slip is become one. Okay. So E2 naught will be here. And 
and next always for the flux we have so magnetizing component 90 degrees with the supply so that's we will take it as flux in this direction in the flux we have the magnetizing component i mu is like this so always core loss component is parallel with that i will take the ic so this combination of i mu and ic we will get the no load current i naught no load current i naught and next we have the e to naught is there it will generate some current we will take it is the i2 it will generate some current i2 so same current will be generated this side that is the opposite i2 dash so this is the i2 dash so just observe here the combination of i2 dash the combination of i2 dash plus i naught will give the i1 so just combine together just combine together the combination we will get simply the i1 so you know that you know that this is the i1 and the combination of minus e1 plus i1 z1 so i1 z1 means z1 is simply r1 plus j x1 so by using that from the i1 direction just better to draw the i1 r1 so after that so I'm better to take this way after that we will have 90 degrees phase that is i1 x1 that is the i1 x1 next combine together the combination of the combination of minus e1 uh, plus i1 r1 plus i1 x1 we will get i1 z1 that i1 z1 is i1 z1 is like this so this is the i1 z1 i1 z1 okay so and we can move to i2 x2 the combination of we know that the combination of e not to get the e2 it is a combination of i2 r2 plus i2 x2 so we will have some i2 r2 there so this is the i2 is there so we will have some i2 r2 and we will get the i2 x2 then the combination of these two things we will get i2 we will get i2 naught. so this is about the this is a neutral point this is about the phasor diagram at no load at the standstill condition okay so by using these form laws and by using the equivalent circuit we will draw the phasor diagram okay i hope all of you understand this session thank you